Dr. Susan Brown here again. I'm at the College of Nutrition, the American College of Nutrition, just getting all sorts of new information on nutrition and how it might affect your overall health and bone health. Today I'm really pleased to be with my old colleague, friends, Dr. Stephen Masley. You might have remembered, we, we had a nice interview with Steve a few years back when he did a groundbreaking book on heart health and actually developed his whole own program for heart health. You might have seen him on PBS, he had a little TV series. Now Stephen, who's got endless energy, has moved his attention to memory and brain functioning. So Steve, what are you learning about how we can keep our memory sharp, keep our brain working well, have, what do you call it, cognitive, quick cognitive behavior, quick cognitive yes. recollection? So here's what we've been doing. So okay. the same program we did for the heart, okay. we've been studying on cognitive function. How your brain processing speed, your memory, and your attention and focus. Okay. So how quickly does your brain work? Are you sharp and quick, or are you slow and sluggish and, pers and forgetful? Uh, so we've been measuring how do you improve your brain function. And we've looked at food and nutrients and fitness and stress management and toxins. All the areas. And those same programs that we showed, we talked about before that are good for your heart and your bones. Right, exactly. That sounds like the Better Bones program, actually. What a surprise. They're really good for your brain, too. And we did a randomized clinical trial, and we showed that when people followed our program, they improved their brain processing speed by 25%. Really dramatic. Now that's quite dramatic. To improve the brain processing speed by, and that's what I mean, the memory and... Memory, oh. how quickly you can process information, yeah. how much work can you get done. That really impacts your productivity. Isn't that something? So Steve, you're going to be now writing a book on brain functioning, mental functioning, and this very wholesome lifestyle activity exercise program? We are. So the Better Brain Solution, the Better Brain Solution. is coming out, um, and we're looking at how can we help you improve your brain performance? What are the five easy steps that would be good for your bones? Yeah, exactly. Good for your heart. But improve your brain and prevent memory loss, too. Wouldn't that be fantastic? It would be great, and especially by 25% increasing the brain functioning. So what are the just the outline of the five easy, five easy steps? Well, food. food. We want you, one, we right. want to avoid sugar. I don't right. want people to have diabetes, insulin resistance. So cutting out, you know, bread and pasta and sugar and rice and focusing more on clean protein, vegetables, fruit, mm -hmm. beans and nuts, uh -huh. but lots of fiber. Lots um, of fiber, yeah. Green vegetables were super powerful. If you eat a cup of greens every day, which are really good for your bones, that in, that person has a brain that's 11 years younger than someone who doesn't eat their green leafy. No, that's hard to believe. And you remember in the Better Bones program, we say two cups of vegetables for lunch and two for dinner. So you're saying just one cup of, really of greens, greens, right? Although we recommend five cups of fruit and vegetables every day. Yes, we certainly recommend that much. We that's the minimum. Yes, yes. We say nine servings at least, half cup servings. Okay. So we're on the same yeah. page there. But that's pretty remarkable. So don't forget those greens. It will definitely... So greens, up. beets were really powerful. Blueberries and cherries, those pigments. Yeah, okay. And then smart fats. Smart fats like dark chocolate. Hey, dark chocolate, okay. Um, Omega-3 fats from seafood like wild salmon. Right, right. We're really emphasizing the omega-3 fats in our bone program. Olive oil and nuts. Perfect, perfect. Those really are really important. Okay. And then um, we looked at key nutrients. Like we found that vitamin D, mixed folates, the B vitamins, B12, magnesium are super important. And a probiotic for your gut. All those things are like super important for your brain. And isn't that interesting because th those are all really essential components of the Better Bones program. That's really so amazing. And exercise has got to play a part. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Exercise turned out on our published study in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, aerobic fitness and strength training, they're both super important for your brain. So we want to be strong yeah, yeah. and we want to be aerobically fit, just like we need for our, our bones too, right? You know, we always say that the body is one single unit. And so it's not just a matter of working with the bones. When you nourish and care for the whole body, you see benefits in your bone, in your heart, in your brain. It's really exciting. And for those of you worried about memory and brain functioning, here it is, the better brain solution. And stress as well. So stress, if you're all stressed out and you don't manage it, your cortisol levels goes up. Well, we don't want high cortisol all the time. It'll shrink your brain, and it's bad yeah, for your bones. Very bad for bone. Very bad for bone. So, I mean, those are really the keys. Add the right foods. 
um, lots of plant foods, um, clean animal protein, avoid sugar, meet your key nutrient needs, get fit. Plenty of, plenty of exercise, plenty of fiber. Yeah. Manage your stress. Right, right. When, stress, you, yeah. when you do those things, it's wonderful for your brain, it's good for your heart, and it's also good for your bones. <laughs> That's terrific. And Steve is really, uh, thanks a lot for taking the time. This is a very busy meeting. I'm glad you took a few minutes. It just reaffirms so much that everything we do for our bones can be good for our whole body. It can help our brain. Everything we do for our brain and our heart can help the bone. This one single unit, we'll see what else is going to come up at this meeting, but I'm really glad to have Dr. Steve Masley again with us today. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> it's great.